Good evening. Hey, it's your girl, Pastor Stacy, and this is our life discussion podcast. This evening, we're talking about faith and fitness. Can you guys hear me? We're talking about faith and fitness. Good evening. It's your girl, Pastor Stacy from the New Hope Fellowship Tabernacle Church. And this evening, our life discussion podcast, we're talking about faith and fitness. Yes, faith and fitness. We want to be fit for the Lord so that we can go out and do his work. And I know it is summertime. It's June, what, 24th. And ladies, we're all getting ready to have our summer fun bodies. God's getting ready to be super strong and sexy for the summertime. And my very special guest this evening, this young man is true to my heart, Mr. Shaheem Sky. Woo! Recent graduate from Rocky River High School. He's getting ready to start attending St. Andrews University. Yay! And for the last year or so, Shaheem has been hitting the gym hard not just changing his physical body, but he's meditating, he's drinking water. He, well, I'm gonna let him tell all the good stuff that he's been doing to get his body right, right? So let's hear from Shaheem and then come on, jump on in. Y'all know how we do every other Thursday. I need you guys to like and share. Everybody that wants to know about getting their bodies right, how... If you don't feel like hitting the gym and you want to get your body right, that's what we're going to talk about tonight. So go ahead, Shaheen. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Sha, can you hear me? All right. Now, we don't want to have to deal with these technical difficulties. I don't know if you can hear me or not. I see his picture. Here we go. Sha, can you hear me? I don't know. It must be a lag somewhere. Shaheem, can you hear me? I still can't hear you. Give me a, a thumbs up, a thumbs down. All right. Well, while we waiting for Shaheem to get his things together, again, you all know that I'm Pastor Stacy from the New Hope Fellowship Tabernacle. At the church located in the Queen City, Charlotte, North Carolina. And our life discussion class today is talking about faith and fitness and all the things that we have to do to get our bodies right. All right. It looked like we got Brother Shaheen back. Sha, can you hear us? Yeah. Hello. Okay. All right. I already gave you a wonderful introduction, but now tell the world a little bit about you. And we're on Facebook, Shaheen. So what's going to happen? There's a little 20 second delay, but people that are watching live, they're going to have the ability to ask you some questions once you tell us about how you're going to the gym and getting your mind and body right. Well, first of all, I'm 18, just graduated high school. I began my journey, I want to say, back in November last year. So around the time that COVID uh, had came along, and as soon as COVID came along, it was just, I, everything was over, but something told me to get my body right, get my mind right. So start going to the gym. I got a, a friend, he invited me to the gym one day, and ever since then I've been going, and really, the big part is to stand consistent. I mean, the first day is always hard, just like anything else. For me, I got to step out of my comfort zone to really get active. So if I'm too comfortable, which I was uh, in November, I was too comfortable. So I had to get uncomfortable to get right. So the main thing I want to say is consistency. And then the second thing is your diet. You want to maintain a healthy diet it's, it's hard sometimes when you have when you're getting out the house and you see fast food restaurants and friends want to go out every now corner you want right. to go to parties and the food trucks while you at work so <laughs> it's hard to stay it's hard to get that discipline but once you get it once you be consistent and get it for the first couple of days then you'll be okay but consistency that's what i that's really 
my main thing, consistency and just having the right mindset. Cause you know, some days you don't feel like waking up and you don't feel like doing stuff. But the thing I use, I use a five second rule, I will say. It's like, whenever you want to wake up and you hit a snooze button, like the snooze button, that's my biggest enemy. Like we fight <laughs> each and every day. I'm telling you, each and every A good tactic to use is Say if you're in your own home or something, just put your phone in the closet, put your timer on whenever you want to wake up. And when the timer go off, you got five seconds to wake up. So in your head, you want to go five, four, three, two, one, and then shoot up like a rocket. So using that okay. tool over time, it just makes your head go to autopilot. So up in the future, you don't have to use the time. Your body just automatically wakes up. So I'm really a morning person. So my body wakes up in the morning, but it's a useful tool that I've been using on my journey and it really helped me to be consistent and really just to get things done. Like I never want to be sitting around not doing anything. So I always want to be active and moving and it's good just to step out the house and even like go for a walk. Like I try walking and it's such joy, like letting the sun just hit your skin and stuff like that. So really sun gazing and it's just a lot of different methods and different things you could do really to enhance your mind and your ability to work stuff like that because once you get in that particular mindset like you're unstoppable that's how I like every time I walk across somebody and most people say how are you when they say how are you I say I, I am so I am unstoppable like on yesterday I used unstoppable because I am unstoppable there's stuff like that positive talk and self-talk is really important in this case because you know there's a lot of things going on in this world and you don't want to be talking or saying the wrong things and stuff like that so just watch who you hang out with and just check your mental mental check like every day check the full box have i checked my have i gained one percent mentally physically emotionally and intelligently that's what i use so every one every every day you want to go one percent because life is a present you feel me so just take just appreciate it that's what i got from it Okay, I love that. I love that. Even before we talk about the fitness part, let me go back to that. I am. I like that. And I, I think I heard you tell your your tell somebody before about saying I am. So I am unstoppable. I am beautiful. I am worthy. I am healthy. Is that something that you do every day? Tell yourself that you're unstoppable at something. Yeah, every day I just try to be grateful for something like I am grateful or just anything that comes to your mind like I am great and I am wondering I am confident or something like that just to spark it up like when you say the words like many people can say the words but you want to get in the habit of feeling the words so when you say I am unstoppable you got to feel unstoppable you got to feel confident you got to feel grateful like it's all a feeling like that's the mind hack like once you feel the words that you say beautiful things can, ha can happen so just like that, just using the words every day just to really speak it out there because it comes true. Like, I don't know how and why, like, like God is good. Like, coincidence are not coincidence for no reason. Like, things happen for a reason. So when you continue to check your mental and get focused and get determined and stuff like that, okay. you're unstoppable. Yes, I like that. Yo, we need Sister Chanel on here so she can make some t-shirts that say I am and then we could just fill mm -hmm. in what we are. Just mm -hmm. being unstoppable, I think that's amazing. Thank you for sharing that part. Now, um, who is this? Anthony Gunter is watching and he said, hey, Boogie. So mm -hmm. the, <laughs> the fast food part, how, how do you discipline yourself to move away from fast food. Now, a couple of years ago, I was working out every day faithfully. Me and AJ getting up five o'clock in the morning, going to the gym. And even then it was still hard for me not to do the fast food. So I started eating salads and stuff from the fast food places. But tell me how you got the self-discipline to ride past Chick-fil-A. How did you ride past, uh, you know, the McDonald's and get yourself not to stop? It's, I'm self-motivated. I want to say that. <laughs> self-motivated, really, because you got to have a strong enough willpower not to do the things that you know is going to drive you down. Like, I know where my goal is. I know 
I check my goals like at least every day. Like I write them in my notes and I got some cards on the wall. So really just, it's really, everything is really meant to. So what you look at, I heard like the windows is the eyes to the soul with everything. So reading and stuff and really just checking your notes and ha having that willpower, you gotta be determined to want to wanna lose weight, determined to want to get a six pack, determined to do anything you want to do. So that determination is really what sets it off. Like, do you really want it or do you kind of want it? Like, you know, you, you got to stop eating fast food. So just go ahead and stop. It's really a willpower. Like, where's your mind at? And that's how I take it. Like, every time I, like, even when my friends, they want to go out and they want to eat something, I'm like, nah, I'll pass up on that. And also just drink water. I know I noticed that water helps a hell of a lot. Hell of a lot. Because <laughs> as soon as you take drink water you straight like i'm just in, for me particularly like as soon as i drink water my body settles down and i don't have the urge enough to eat fast food or eat unhealthy things like that so you really just got to find a key balance to work everything out you know in the beginning it's not it's not going to be easy it's going to be hard but like like again check your mental be determined do you really want it or do you kind of want it Oh, that that's amazing because I know I really want it. I really want it. And it was a time when I would stop carrying money with me. So if I don't have no money, then I can't stop at the store to buy mm -hmm. no snacks and stuff. So another thing you just said, like when you're out with people and they want to stop and eat, but you got enough self-discipline to say no. How do you, because here, I'm just going to talk about here at the house. We always have snacks. We always got ice cream. We always got cookies. So how do you do it when the people around you want to drink Kool-Aid and soda and, you know, well, thank God we keep water in the house. But what would you do if it was nothing but Pepsis and Mountain Dews and, and Kool-Aid and sweet tea? <laughs> how you push away from that? Really just try to stay away from it as much as you can. Like, I know you can because you like you walk past it, you see it every day. But like, say for instance, I went in the pantry and I wanted a Pop-Tart. I know sugar foods that I'm not supposed to be eating. I always look in the mirror and think like, do I want to, do I want my body fat percentage to go low or do I want it just to stay high or do I want to just keep it down? Like, what do you want? Like, do you, do you really want it? That's what it all comes down to. Cause like I said, on last week, you have to take you where you want to go, but you know that you can't eat that stuff in order to lose weight or whatever. And so you you already know better. Like you said, you know better, you do better. So just like that, you just got to, I know it's going to be hard, but once you get in the habit of saying no and just walking away from it and not taking any and everybody's advice, like find out what you want. And I had that problem before. I never thought what I want. Just look at what other people want or what everybody else is doing, but what do you want? Like, you can only take you where you want to go. And that's so important because you feel me? I, Nobody I, can change your mind. Like, well, you gotta be all, strong enough not to let people change your mind. Mm, yeah. Cause <laughs> no, it can get to you. That's high. Cause when, when high. you got constantly people feeding information, feeding information into you, it's just, it's just, I just learned the way just to stay calm and, not to overthink and not take everything personal because I used to take everything personal, you know, but once you find out, like, everybody got issues, everybody's heart is broken and stuff happens, so you just got to think about what you want and how bad you really want it because if you really, really want it, you could really get it. Like, I, like it's a big world. Like, I, I, I work outside and I see countless of people and we only in Charlotte, one part of the whole world, so I'm like, it's different countries, different cities, different states. So it's like abundance mindset. That's what I call it, abundance mindset. Have an abundance mindset. Because you don't want to be stuck in just one circle or just, you feel me? You got to get out there. You got to try something. Else. Okay, that's awesome. And now you was talking about drinking water. So ladies, I know I'm, I'm not the only one that got caught up in the hype buying these wonderful water bottles that tell you to drink from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Now, Jaheem just said it's important to drink water. It helps with your appetite, so you won't want to eat a lot. I know drinking water helps clear out your skin. It helps uh, clear out your kidneys, and it's like the best thing for us. So with these wonderful bottles of water, 
motivational water bottles. That's what they call them. Drinking bottle water. I'm blurring the names out because if I show Dare Park name, then I want Dare Park to send me some money for advertising for them. But I know everybody like their own particular types of water. So are we really ladies putting water in these water jugs or are we filling them up with soda? Are we filling them up with juice and tea? Drinking water, you heard it right here from Shy Boogie. Drinking water helps suppress your appetite. It helps clear up your skin. It helps keeps us healthy. It helps regulate the um, your blood system, your circulatory system. So you can't go wrong with drinking water. So get your cool water bottles and drink that water. And it's something else that he said, consistency. How consistent are we with stuff? And do you really want it? I'm, I'm personally, Shaheem, I'm going to take away this five second rule because I intentionally, if I need to get up at seven o'clock, I set my alarm clock for 645 because I know I'm gonna hit the snooze button. So now I have to get a new mindset that that snooze button isn't my friend. I don't need to keep hitting that snooze button. I'm gonna I'm try real hard to implement that five second rule. When that alarm go off, instead of hitting the snooze button, I need to just get up. <laughs> yeah, and just don't use it for that. Use it for anything you wanna do. Like, you know you gotta clean your car out. Or you know you gotta change the oil or check the tire. Five, four, three, two, one. Cause you never gonna feel like doing something. Like I never feel like working out. Who like who feels like working out? Like, but you know you gotta do it. And when you start to do it over and over, it just begins to go autopilot. Cause time is my most valuable possession. Like I don't wanna waste my time because I know it's important. So you you really just wanna get up. Like the, like you said, the snooze button is the biggest enemy. Like every time you press that, you just backtracking, backtracking, backtracking. But if you use the five second rule five, four, three, two, one, and you shoot up, shoot up like a rocket and just do it, I think you'll be perfectly fine. And, and like you said, time is something that we can't get back. We can't go back in time. We can't reverse time. Once it's gone, it's gone. So we might as well not waste it and use it to be productive. So that's, that's definitely some words to live by. So we talked about drinking water. We talked about using time for our goodness and leaving that snooze button alone, alone. What about you said something, letting the sun hit your face? Tell Quan jump on and say hey to us. So letting the sun hit your face, how important is it to our fitness and to our well being? actually going outside and letting the sun hit our face? Because with the quarantine going on and all the stuff that's been happening in this world, a lot of people got stuck being in a house. And even though it's time to come back outside, they still stuck in the house. So they need to come out and let the sunshine hit their face. How important is that? I see you walking around in the sun now. How important is it letting the sun hit your face? Um. And the sun hits your face is really important. Um, sun gives you a lot of different things. It really, I just learned something about the sun. Like it gives you energy and you want to be in a high vibrational state. So say if you're in your room and it's dark and you, you feel me, the light's not on. You just, you're just in a lower state, lower vibration. So you, like, I know you want to be a high vibration. I know people are like introverts and some people are extroverts, but just step out there, just try something new. Just walk outside or sun gaze at the sun, just look at the sun in his eyes. Like stuff on the internet says it's bad. You're looking in the eyes, it can give you cancer and stuff like that, but they never talk about the benefits and that stuff is really not true. So really getting out to the sun is really gonna raise your vibration. Like if you try it, just try it. Just try waking up out of out of the bed and really going outside and taking a five minute walk. I'm telling you your vibration is gonna be higher when you walk back in the door guarantee it so it's a guarantee that if you wake up and the sun is just hitting you because the sun is our energy so it's giving you energy that's why when you look at it you squint your eyes and stuff like that it's giving you energy so when you walk out to the sun and into nature just just feel it and just go at it because it's helpful for you okay that is oh my goodness and the sun is free. We don't have to pay to use the sun. We can just go outside yeah. and let that you sun You're getting free vibes. That's what I call it. Free vibes. Come come outside and vibe with the sun. You feel me? Free vibes. 
That's awesome. Get some free vibes. It don't cost you nothing. It's not a membership. You just open the door and come outside. And the sun hit you in the face. And like you said, um, so often we hear about don't go out in the sun because it gives you sun cancer. Don't look at the sun because it'll make you blind. But they forgot to tell us about the benefits that the sunshine make you feel good because you're absolutely right. If you're in the house and you're in a dark place, that could mess with your mood. And I know when I was working in corporate America, um, you know, coming to work eight o'clock in the morning, nine o'clock in the morning was fine for me because the sun would be up and shining. But when I had to come in six o'clock and it would still be dark, I would have to tell people like, listen, I'm not depressed. I'm not angry. Come back and talk to me when the sun come up. And my mood would literally change. It wasn't the cup of coffee. It wasn't, you know, anything else. Like once the sun came up, I was fine. But working in the dark, I would just be like, oh, leave me. My mood would just change, like you said. So I can attest that that's truly, it truly make a difference having the sunshine. And ladies, not just ladies, gentlemen, think about it when you're in your house and now everybody buying those blackout curtains. But when you up and you moving and you feeling good, you let the sunshine in, you open them curtains and let the sunshine in and it changes the atmosphere in your home. The sun changes the atmosphere in any room that you're in. Now, I don't know about you, but I used to work in medical records and most medical record facilities are always in the basement. I refuse to take a job in a basement because I need to see outside. Even if I can't have an office with a window, I at least need to be able to look across the room and see outside. So what Shaheen just said about the sun hitting your face and the sunlight changing the ambiance, for me personally, your girl, Pastor Stacy, having the sunshine does make a difference. Now, Shaheen, I want to ask your opinion on a couple of items. You already said drinking water is good, so I got you on that. Now, I forgot the, the actual name of this. These the little weights, that a shaky weight. And you see the commercial come on, and you're supposed to just shake, 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 shake. Would you recommend? One of these shakers, <laughs> shaker weights. I think that's what it's called, the shaky, or the shake weight, shake me. Would I recommend it? Yes. If I'm home Man, and I can't go to the gym, should I buy a shaky weight? Will this give me Michelle Obama arms? <laughs> All right, it looked like Shaheem lost. Uh, okay, Sorry. it looked like Shaheem lost his signal. So we asked him about the shaky weight, if the shaky weight will work. So go ahead and comment if you know anything about the shaker and if it would give you Michelle Obama arms shaking it <laughs> mm -hmm. now is up <clears throat> right now you see the people name take her now you see the the people names so you want to plug back in so you can come back in oh. you want to talk to the people live in the face. Live in the face. <laughs> i need to see the comments that's what we're saying so Tell me about the, the shaky weight. Would you recommend it? Uh, I mean, anything useful, I guess you could recommend it, but I never used this before, so I'm not sure. But um, one thing I do for my arms, I think this is an arm workout. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure it is, is really just hold your arms out. And just hold your arms out. Just really put your forearms right here. But what about somebody like me? I got chicken wings. It's, it's a whole different thing. You don't have to do it. It's all fight. So you want the forearms, just, yeah, just here. And if you do this, you'll fill it about 20 reps. So you come here, like this real fast right here, 20 reps. And now take care of the chicken wings? Yeah, take care of it and you start to see your veins popping up. I mean, I'm a male, so my, I like my veins to be shown. So <laughs> that, but in your case, you have chicken wings. So you want to lose <laughs> them chicken wings. He the one that started calling them chicken wings when he was little, he used to yeah. come up and grab my chicken wings. So now, I'm gonna stick my arm out. There you go. Just, just twist. Okay, I could do that. Okay. Just twist. All right. Do you need to give me a a thing? 
two reps of twisting your arms to get rid of your chicken wings. Because I'm about to get that summer body right. Uh, if I could be preaching and teaching and shouting. Yeah, wait, wait, you can't go nowhere. I got some more products up here that I need you to talk about. All right, ISO T. Y'all know ISO T has been out forever. This is a diuretic and you put it in your water and it's supposed to make you have bowel movements and clear you out. You know anything about those? Um, I, I don't know. If Ebony London is on, I mean, Ebony Gunter London, if you're on, jump on so you can tell us about the ISO T. Well, she stopped selling the ISO T and she sell this new one that's owned by a black company, but it does the same thing that the ISO T does. So, ladies and gentlemen. ISO T, it could work, but <laughs> I don't really use. Let me see, get your wife. <laughs> Hi, Frida. Anthony, if you close to your wife, can you ask her to tell us about the ISO T? All right. So, what you if somebody asked you, like, what can I take to, to lose weight? You would just say go to the gym and drink water, or would you recommend a product? <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> for anybody out there, there's nothing you can use to lose weight. Come you on, have to, you have to work out. we you want something to, magic. There's no magic. There's no <laughs> easy road. It's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a journey. It's a, it's a path. But I would recommend olive water. That's what I drink. It really helps your bowel movements. And, olive water. Yeah, it flushes down your system. Oh, oh, okay. So olive water. Olive so instead beer, of drinking water. regular water, drink regular water and olive water. Yeah, that can help. Yeah, yeah, most of that. All right, we know, I know her name is Ebony Gunter. Yes, we know Ebony Gunter. All right. So while we waiting for Ebony to come, I know I am not the only person that has gone out. Tiva, Tiva, thank you, Ebony. Go ahead and um, put your information up on the, in the chat or on the screen so that anybody that's interested in getting the, the Tiva, is this it? <laughs> oh, it's there right down there at the bottom, Tiva, T A V A. If anybody interested in getting a Tiva, Ev, go ahead and uh, put your information. All right, ladies, I got some more stuff that I bought. <sighs> what do you call this? Um, kinkle bell. A kinkle, kettlebell. 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 Now, don't be laughing at me, AJ. We used to get the little kettlebells, kinkle and do this. Will this help with my arm? <laughs> now Shaheen laughing at me. Y'all gonna stop laughing at me. I'm trying to help somebody to get right. Because you know when we see it on TV and we watch videos and they be doing stuff, you're like, oh, I'm going to try that. So you go and buy it. Yeah, that will, help. yeah just extend your arms a little bit more. When, you, like go down, right? when you go down. Yeah. Like that? Nah, like you was doing. Come on, show thing. me. Just like this. Because if I do it like that, my titties in the way. Yeah, come over so they can see you. <laughs> it's a workout class or what? No, because they, they, I'm sure y'all want to learn like I want to learn. Let me take the blur off. Go ahead, show us, and I'm going to take this blur off. And don't laugh that it's five plant pounds. I was trying to, you know, be legit. I ain't want to fake a phone and buy like a 20 pound one knowing I wasn't mm -hmm. going to lift it. All right, I'm so watching. I guess. Three workouts you do right there, just like, just like this. Just pick it up. Just pick it up. The more the weight, the better. I mean, this is only five pounds, but for, for somebody that has chicken wings and really it's not active yet, I feel like this is the beginner stage. Okay. And you can really just get active like this. There's any arm motion with the kettlebell. Like you can swing it like this, control it like this. Or I thought he's about oh, to throw yeah, it in. Just, you know, there's, there's just many different variations. <laughs> yeah, I and, and I remember that. Kelly used to tell us to do this to get tricep, right? To yeah. Do the, the triceps. I remember that. Yeah. All right. My next product. You on, Ebony? What do you think about waist trainers, Shaheen? When you at the gym? <laughs> when you at the gym, do you see the ladies in there getting it uh, nah. with the waist trainers? I mean, don't be always trying to touch a chill. Only thing I don't like about them, this is just so much work. Like, if I could just like slip it on like a shirt or put it on like pants, I would be happy. But all right, tell us your thoughts on the waist trainers. 
You really don't need none of this stuff for real, for real, but I guess if you buy it in that case. But we yeah. buying it because we expected the work. All right, hold that side. And I need help putting mine on. Give me the Velcro thing. Uh, all right, grab the other one. <laughs> Anybody else had these issues trying to get their waist trainer on? All right, so when I'm in the gym or I'm at home, is this going to help me? Uh, yes. <laughs> hey, you're doing a high intensity workout, it will help you. Look, high intensity? I'm sweating just putting this joint on. Look, good sweat, real sweat, y'all. <laughs> so I guess it will work in some cases, depending on what type of workout you're doing. So. Hey, two, thanks for watching. You already skinny. We talking about people trying to faith and fitness. We can't just pray the calories away. We got to get out in the sun. We got to drink some water. Sha Boogie, tell us what we got to do to get right. So, okay. All right. Ebony said it helps with posture and eating control. Yes, posture, because it make, make you sit up right. I look sitting up right to you. Yeah. And eating control, because I can't eat with mine on. Lord knows I can't. All right. What's our other comments? Waist trainers had great benefits for women and men. I know, men wear waist trainers. You ever see a dude at the gym with a waist trainer? No, I've seen it. Oh, you got something on your face. I've I, I never seen uh I can touch you. Come on, yeah, come on camera. They can't see you. I ain't never seen men with no waist trainer, but I seen it with a belt when they used to lift, like deadlift and stuff like that. But a waist trainer, I mean, I mean, it could work in your case, I mean. You got it going on. <laughs> Teach her be smart. All right. I got some more stuff. <laughs> really not need this much stuff. To... All right. Can you hold that up so then we see? Why I take this out? Oh, the waist trainers, ladies. Y'all see my pretty pink one? I got this from. Ebony Gunter and her website is, let me see. I know she put it up there. I can't see it. Uh, I choose, uh, where is it? Ebony London Apparel. She's on Instagram and Facebook. Whew. All right. I'm trying to breathe with this waist trainer on. This is something else that I bought. What do you think about these, Shaheen? Have you guys ever seen these commercials? You know, be up late at night and they had these on TV and you put it on your stomach. You hit the control buttons and these little things pulsate on your stomach. And they got a whole bunch of different settings. What do you think about these, Shaheen? Come like back on the camera so they can see. <laughs> I do not recommend using this. I feel like you don't need really any of this. Just get to the gym, use the machine. Get to the gym, use the machine. I think this stuff is worthless and it's not really beneficial. Hey, little Harry. Deuce, deuce watching. Tell Lisa and the kids I say, hey, this is called the smart fitness. So on a commercial, they said, if you don't have time to go to the gym and you don't want to do sit-ups and you want to get a six pack, you put this thing on you put these little controls on and while you walking around the house doing whatever it goes do 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 so you're supposed to do it for 30 minutes a day you can get a six pack you say no no they lying to you you tell me i can fix that no and just bother me nah yeah that's what it says that's not it it's not it that's not it Anybody else? Okay. Tito Saunders said on the website, is there waist trainers for men? Wait, what are you calling trash, AJ? These things right here? You calling these trash? Can you see the, the comments? All right. I'm not done. Uh, no, nah, that ain't it, bro. That ain't going to work. <laughs> <laughs> Don't buy this. Don't buy this. You're trying to steal your money. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got these fitness plates. You ever seen these? Yes, I've seen them. Are you supposed to put them on the ground? You can use it on carpet or on hardwood floors like we got. And I'm supposed to scoot around the house. Like slide in. Like I'm skating. Is that how you use them? Oh, I ain't never seen that before. Oh. <laughs> Here. Come on, so they can, you gotta steal the screen. So, so what the, what would you use them for? That's what I was watching the video. Ladies, y'all know those little 10-minute videos that be on YouTube, like, hey, work out at home. Roller skating is good exercise, but if you don't want to actually get on roller skates, you buy these little things. See, and I used to use them, see how mine all used up and you. Food around the house. What you say do it? <laughs> I mean, if you want to make TikToks and make videos, you can use these. But, I wouldn't really but not for exercising? Nah. Come on, just for fitness. See, I got two sets of them. I got the gold gym one, Dana. It's, it's the wrong fitness. <laughs> <laughs> it's saying right here. Everything it says, don't be sure. You can use them for push-ups, use them to twist. What's that say? Squat gliders, split gliders, ab gliders. No, he ain't recommending nothing. All right, read everything. I, I got some more stuff. You don't need no pills in your system. No pills. Get up and do some push-ups. Push-ups is hard. Everybody can do push-ups. Life push is hard. Life is hard. Push-ups is easy for you. You 18. What about somebody that's 48? They can get ain't on the floor doing no push-ups. You don't need no pill. You don't need that. No, I agree with you. I can take a walk, but what if somebody can't do push-ups? What would you recommend? Whatever. Whoever can't do push-ups, they need to come and see me. They need to, they need to talk to me. They don't. <laughs> They can do a wall, they do many other things. Yeah. All right, y'all hear him? He's saying no pills. Phenamines. Do you even know what that is? The phenamine pills. I know they work for some people, they ain't work for me. I heard chicks say that they was taking them and would forget to eat for three days. Sure, All they did was gave me energy. I was running around like a all right. So Shaheem said no to everything, Tito. He said drink water and walk. All right. Am I doing it right? How about this? So this is for your form. For your form. So, so is that good? Yes, this is for your form. So this is a good thing if you're just sitting around, running around, not doing anything. Just to crunch on help your hands shrink and everything. Um, I will use that. I got so, it. Just the right way. Yeah, I gotta say, I can feel it. All right, yay! I got something in my box of tricks that he said yes to. You saying playing music? We ain't playing no music. <laughs> All right, they think it's music. Here go a question for you. What is the best brand of water to recommend? Uh, distilled water. That's what I drink. It's like 99 cents at the local Walmart or Food Lion. It's a big jug of water and it really does everything. So, distilled water. All right, he said distilled water. I personally like their part, but I know it's the um the core brand is I don't which like is the their part. Their part, part it tastes weird to me. No, Marsha said it tastes like their pig. Yeah. I like their part. But when I was going to the gym, I was drinking core because core got the pH balance and electrolytes and stuff or, that's supposed to yeah, I know core, come core back. Is pretty good one. Uh, alkaline water, that's a pretty good one too. Alkaline is really good water. And that um that water that they sell, a lot of people laugh because they sell it at the dollar store, but you can buy it from Office Mat and Walmart. Um, I can't think of the name of it right now, but it's bottle at the source. Is not the purified water. It's actually spring water that's purified at the source. Core, 
<laughs> Ebony said it tastes like clouds. <laughs> All right. Did we? I want to make sure we answer everybody's questions. That's a stripper exercise. <laughs> It's a stripper exercise. Keep you stable on the pole. All right. <laughs> this is my next gadget. Yeah. I do this with it. That's good. And put it in between my, my feet. And do this. One, two, three, this way. <laughs> <laughs> that's a yes that's cute that's cute that's cute not helping nah, it, it's helpful yeah you so mentioned I would, bring it, there? No. I would bring it up to your knee above your knee oh. right. up here yeah. so you want yeah so you would squat with that yes. so don't do my side to side do uh, squat yeah you tapping too much <laughs> stay, still. <laughs> stay still and squat yeah get a good squat now bend your knees you gotta don't. squat you gotta get down Wait, how you back up? All right, we gonna have to do that off screen because yeah. I don't know how to how I'm gonna bend and not bend my knees. So we'll do that off screen. Uh, so I don't know what this gadget is called, but he said this is a good one. I'm gonna hit you with the name. Okay, what would you meal plan? How many meals would you recommend? How many meals you recommend each day? And what would be your meal plan? Depending on what type of goals you want. If you're bulking, if you and if you want to put on weight and muscle, then I would eat around like four to five meals a day. For somebody like me, I'm trying to get lean and lower my body fat. So I'll eat probably around two to three times a day. And my meal plan, what I just figured out, I, that's what I had trouble doing. My, my food, that's what I had trouble doing. But I usually eat a lot of uh, grilled chicken and string beans and stuff, just rice like that. That's what I recommend. There's a lot of microwavable meals that have good level of protein in there. Do you recommend any? Mm, that's a good question. I really don't, I haven't tried microwavable meals. I usually cook everything on the stove, but I know that I heard- I'll be cooking are, grilled chicken for them. I, I heard there are some, uh, Good microwave meals, like them are good stuff to use. Like even like the Jimmy Dean, Jimmy Dean's uh croissants, I use them. I eat them every morning just to fill me up. This has been brought to you by our sponsor, Pink Ice Lip Gloss. Mm -hmm. Pink Ice Lip Gloss. www.pinkicelipgloss.com. Mm -hmm. All right, my next tool. It looked like a jump rope, but it's not. Handles, put that under my foot and do this. Okay. Okay. This right. good? I like it, but you put two feet on that rope. Put two feet? Yeah. I <laughs> uh, like you, the hawk. Uh, you want to control it though. You don't what want you to control up, So you want to go slow. And you want to control go slow. It. Just want to be, yeah. Yeah, so you're just, all right, you so know. this is good. This is good. All right. So see, again, I'm saying ladies, but just for ladies and men. We want to be able to do stuff that we could do at home. But as Shaheen told us in the beginning, we need to get out and get in the sunlight so we can't just do stuff to be stuck in the house. All right. I got this from AJ a couple years ago. This one is actually a jump rope with these little things on here. You've seen this before. And the handles, it's actually weighted. So it's not like the rope that the kids would be outside jumping with. I am not jumping mm -mm. for y'all on the screen, but I do have a jump rope. <laughs> mm. And I skip. <laughs> yes, you skip. Okay. yes, I skip. Like that. Don't do that. I mean, that's, not, that's a fun activity you could do. <laughs> <laughs> Looks pretty good. Anything you're moving physically is pretty good. <sighs> All right, wait a minute. Got you because we straight off. I can't breathe. <sighs> All right. So somebody asked him a question about diet. To burn the fat, apple cider vinegar. I do a cup of put some inside my uh my water. 
every morning before I eat. And this is supposed to help lower blood sugar and suppress your appetite. You ever tried it? Mm, nah, I'm not apple cider vinegar. No, I haven't really tried that. And we cook with it a lot. Hey, family. Hey, May May. You just bought some ropes, Ebony. What happened to all of that equipment? AJ used to have like a, a his whole garage was a gym. Y'all had all his equipment. All right. When I'm on the on the, on the diet for real, and I'm skipping meals. I use this, I supplement a meal. Like this might be my breakfast or my lunch. I only eat one meal a day. This is whey smoothie mix. Would you recommend this? I will recommend this. But protein. Yeah, I do that protein shake. But um, with this, let me see. Yeah, I will use this. But you have to be working out. You have to be doing something. I don't want you just drinking this. And, not doing anything you feel me just for a see i didn't know that so don't just do a meal replacement do some exercise yeah, anytime, with my meal replacement yeah, anytime you take something you want to be active like at least 30 minutes to an hour so you don't want to just let it sit in your body like that's like taking an energy drink and you're just sitting there like it's just bad for your body i think in that case but way smoothie yeah this definitely gets you right i definitely like this all right so now while we're talking about smoothies I know I got a couple of juicers on here. I don't like kale. So what can I put in my smoothie? My smoothies be protein mix and fruit. I don't do the kale. So what AJ said, that's not good because I'm not putting vegetables in there. What vegetable can I put in there besides kale? And I don't like green. So my smoothie can't be green. <laughs> and I just don't like the taste of kale. Kale Apple. and green, that's really the, the main thing. I mean, you don't have to use that. I mean, for yeah, me. Yeah, I don't mind greens. Like, I, I like collard greens. I like turnip greens with smoked turkey butts in it. But I'm talking about for my smoothie, what vegetable can I put in there? What vegetable could you put in there? Um, that's a good question. All right, so I'm going to just keep drinking yeah, my, my yeah, food. I would, yeah, I usually just go with fruit, all fruit, different kinds of fruit, bananas, peaches. Um, okay, anything. mangoes. Yeah, yeah. So I, like, I like fruit. So. Can you make us one tonight? I got a bag of fruit in the freezer. Sweet, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to take pictures and show y'all my smoothie from tonight. I think we missed the question. Uh, oh, spinach. I ain't think about spinach. Right? Yeah, spinach is good. Uh, apple cider gummies or pills. Apple cider gummies. I never heard of neither. I never yeah, I heard of them. I never, I, I haven't tried them. Mm. I wonder, that would be good, Tito, if I could take an apple, because I know the apple cider definitely work with your um, A1C and your blood sugar. My husband used, um, drink this. He be cheating because he drink it right before he go to the, the doctor, like a day or two before it's time to go to his doctor's appointment. Oh, celery. I See, this is good information. I didn't even think about that. I like celery, May. Spinach, cucumbers. I put cucumbers in my water. I could do that. You don't like cucumbers? You eat pickles? Not a big pickle fan. I eat them from time to time. Okay. All right. But we don't have no spinach in the house. We don't have no celery in the house. So we just going to have to do fruit smoothies tonight. But I will buy some. Mm. celery and some spinach is it frozen spinach or fresh spinach guys fresh 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 the actual leaves and just drop mm. it in there you know how they're going to taste it because you got all the fruit consumed in there. okay i'm gonna answer that's a good question tito if don't nobody um answer on here i'm gonna follow up about the cider gummies or the pills i remember melinda talking about it i'm not sure how she made it out with it. It's at eight o'clock. Well, it is eight o'clock, guys. Thank you so much for joining the Life Discussion Podcast. We do this every two weeks. We invite you guys into our living room. Well, today y'all in our dining room. We invite you into our dining room to talk about life discussion stuff that goes on in our lives. And we all want to get summer ready, but ain't nobody trying to do like Shaheen do. I ain't going to say be like Shaheen because we want to be like you, but we got to, let me look at my notes. We got to be consistent. Ha. We got to stop eating fast food. <laughs> we got to walk. See, I take notes. I pay attention. 
the five second rule. Don't let that um. Ebony said the the pill. What spinach pills or the gummy pills? Spinach pills. <laughs> I don't know spinach pills. Stay away from the fast food. Fast food salads good. I can still eat those. Mm, yeah, or, you can. You know, yeah. yeah? Okay. As long as you have a healthy workout schedule and if you're actually hitting it every day, actually getting something out of it. 30 minutes or hour, that's all you need. Sure. All right. The snooze button. I'm stop hitting the snooze button. I'm let the sun hit my face at least once a day whenever the sun we'll is just out. Gaze at the sun. Gaze at the sun. Take walks to help give energy and circulation. And these are free vibes. We don't have to pay nothing to go out in the sun and it don't cost you nothing to walk. So we can save those $10. The five second rule. He said when that button go off, that alarm go off, instead of hitting that snooze button, go five, four, three, two, one, and get your behind up. Not just for exercise, but in every area of your life. So if you're a person that's hitting the smooth, snooze button, when you know it's time to go to work, when you know it's time to go to school, five, four, three, two, one, get your behind up. And this one I love, if Chanel not on here. Hey, Alexa, Chanel not on here, but we need to get these shirt t-shirts made. I am. I am strong, I am unstoppable, I am enough, I am blessed. Check out my blessed t-shirt. So yes, I'm all about the t-shirts in this season, like positive vibes only. Drink water, 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 water. Aloe water, cold water, how about sticky water? People in Philly, y'all drink that Scoop Hill Punch or should we just do <laughs> water? Shall I say drink that water? Miss Ebony put on there waist trainers for men and women. Check out her website, it's on there. Where we at? The Tiva for a good detox. So it's a whole bunch of stuff that we could do to get healthy. This is good. My kettlebell. Ladies, just to help get rid of the chicken wings. You don't know what a chicken wing is. My baby shy name, these are my chicken wings. <laughs> when he was little, he used to come and grab my chicken wings. But I'm gonna be using my kettlebell, right? And because I'm just starting out, I'm starting out with five pounds. Get my kettlebell on. This thing is so old. And there's a DVD to go with it. We don't even use DVD players no more. So I probably got to go on YouTube to find. It's still kind of nasty. <laughs> Maybe this is a tool just for women. I don't know, but well, yeah, God might want to use that. <laughs> uh, what else we said? He said, see, I helped y'all out because I don't spend the money on this stuff. He said, don't waste your money on these things. And I'm put, pressing the button and letting it go on your stomach and go poop, 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 poop. He said, don't do that. And have an abundance mindset. If anybody missed it, tell us again what an abundance mindset is. Uh, abundance mindset is knowing that it's more than one thing out there. And so don't be, don't have a scarcity mindset. Don't fall into the role of a victim. Uh, we all can't be victims for so long so you want to have a abundance mindset there's many things out there like don't get caught up in one thing and just because that ain't go right doesn't mean it's not gonna be something else just gotta wait to be patient with it you know you ask for patience but you know people god give you a time to be patient and gives you stuff like that so there's really a abundance mindset there's many things out there so let's go get it and Again, it's not just about exercising to get your body right, to look cute, but it's about changing your mindset, right? Changing your outlook on life and changing your body physically from the inside out. Not just getting the outside right, but we want to do it from the inside out. Go get it for it. <laughs> yeah. Chanel, we need to talk. Shaheen came up with a great idea for a, a t-shirt. So we're going to talk after this is over. All right. So did I cover everything? Did I recap good? The, um, 
chill with the fast food, get out and walk. How long should we walk for? And it's crazy because back in 2017, me and AJ would walk like five miles a day. We would get our sticks and get out and be walking and talking. And I know, so I don't know why I don't do it. I guess I just need a reminder yeah, to get what out are you and doing walk. It for? What are you doing? Like, what's your why? Like, why are you doing it? Well, I was doing it because I didn't want to have to take a bunch of medicine. You know, like older we get, you know, our bodies start going through changes. And every time you feel a ooch or ouch, they give you another pill. And I was like, I don't want to have to keep taking medicine. So that's why I was going to the gym and I was walking and doing it. Now I just need to, to get back yeah, into doing yourself, it. What's your why? Like, why are you doing it? Like, why do I want to go to the gym every day? I, wish I, don't want, I don't want to go to the gym. I want to be healthy and I want to do, I want a healthy lifestyle. Why do you want a healthy lifestyle? So because do I don't want to take medicine. You want to take medicine. Right. And I want to be able to preach, teach, and praise and not get tired fast because I'm fat and overweight or I got a whole bunch of toxics in my body. I got a whole bunch of backup stuff that I need to detox. <laughs> so it's not about getting summer body ready is about having a healthy body mm -hmm. right to stay healthy yes to live longer size healthy i'm not on i'm trying to be a size six no i want to be size healthy whatever healthy. size healthy is for me not having to take a bunch of medicine and like i said being able to preach pray and praise and i get tired real fast you know i haven't started having grandchildren yet by the time you your brothers and sister start having kids i want to be able to be outside and play with the grandkids i want to be able to take them to disney world and run around with them we don't need no medication no medication everything is self like you can your body can do it yourself no medication there's no medication you can ever use to heal your body or to lose a certain amount of weight you can i mean it is pills like that but what's the joy of it like what's the you can't even see the grind like i like to see the process like that's why i don't like being a overnight sensation or one night wonder, like embrace the grind, like, you feel me? Taking medication and stuff is just not gonna give you no instant effect like that. I mean, that's just me, but you feel me? All right, so the joy of taking detox pills and losing eight pounds in a week, that would be the joy, losing the eight pounds. Yours would be the grind of working to lose the eight pounds yeah, instead of just taking a pill yeah, instead of just taking stuff and medication and get out and hang out with some people work out or, you know what i mean i don't like <laughs> my i don't like it <laughs> real, real. yes george we want to be size healthy have a healthy life and not have to take all of this medicine so again we thank you guys for joining us for our life discussion podcast and my very special guest, Shaheen. And listen, guys, one thing that I can test to for Shaheen, he's not just talking about it. He being, he bees about it. This man meditates. He works hard. You know, he only put good stuff in his body. He eat right. He work out. He the young boy at the gym that everybody come to to ask questions and stuff. And we are so proud of him. And I thank him for being our guest tonight. And again, shout out to Pink Ice Lip Gloss and to Ebony London Apparel. Yay, for those waist trainers and for your tea supplies. Everything we need is in-house. It's a family affair, yes. And when we get those t-shirts together that say, I am gonna get those from Miss Queen Fashions. So thank you again, Shaheen, for being on tonight. I appreciate you. Thank you guys for watching. We love you. And always remember, there's hope at New Hope. God bless. <laughs>